right guys so to install these titles all you have to do is just simply select all of them and just drag it and drop it inside of it film express in the media panel just give it a second and hit film will install all of these and then from here you can just get rid of these as they are already installed so you can just delete them and you can now access it from the install templates section so just click on this button over here and it will pop up this window which you can just extend it and you can see your film credits titles over here so let's take a look at the very first one which is the classic cast just select that and click on import and just simply drag it onto the timeline and the length of this animation will be five minutes long uh, but you can change it easily all right so need to make sure that your controls panel is visible you can also go to window and make sure that controls is checked over here so that you can see all of these settings that we have over here so the very first one is the cast text over here so if you click on it and you can see that it will automatically highlight that text and you can here type in anything that you want and select the text again and you can change to any font that you want and uh, you can just let's say we're gonna go for something else like so and you can maybe increase the size if you want to do that so you can change all of that stuff in here uh, you can also change the color by clicking over in this color box over here and you can pick any color from here all right so that is how you can change the text and uh, scrolling forward you can see that we have the names and left and the right text over here so if you click it you, you can see that it will highlight your text and now if you have a list of names so for example i have a uh, a list of names over here uh, so you should have something like this so it will just make your life easier you can just select all of your text Control c to copy it and inside hit film you just simply hit Control v and hit film will paste in your text it might stop responding for like three to five seconds and that's because hit film is uh, replacing all of that text and making sure that it is aligned properly with the correct uh, with the correct font weight and font size but yeah once you have your text it should be all good you can again change the font if you want to the font size and all that stuff right over here and you can do the same thing with the text on the right uh, you can just do that one by one as well if you want to do that so let's just you can just select it like so and type in anything that you want so maybe something like director or something so you can write it yourself over here as well but i think it will be better if you just have a list of names and just hit simply copy and paste it inside it film then we have the line color which you can change pretty easily so as you can see it changes the line over here and we have the background color as well you can change that to any color that you want and lastly we have the scroll animation all right so you can see that our animation ends at somewhere around five minutes but if you want it to be faster let's say you want the animation to be at, uh, to be one minute long so just move your playhead to that time make sure you exit out of the text tool over here and we can just move to one second one minute in time and then you have to click on this icon that says display timeline click on it and you will see your keyframes over here the scroll animation keyframes you just select the last keyframe and just bring it to any point that you want so let's say we want this to be at one sec one minute you just bring that to that point and now you can see that your animation will be will end at one minute and then you can just simply go to that time and you can crop off rest of the clip so you can just select the selection tool and just simply trim it down like so right something like that and then you have this free space over here where you can add more text or other elements inside this track so let's take a look at another text animation again go to install templates i'm going to use the second one which is the classic cast double line you can also increase the size of the box click on import 
just drag it onto the timeline and it has similar settings so you can change the text we have the left text the right text and again from the right side we have left text and the right text we can change the cast we can change the color of the line we can change the line scale as well if you want to change the width of this so you can easily change that like so we have the background color we can change that and then again we have the same scroll animation as we did in the previous example you can change the position of the keyframes to have a shorter or longer animation all right so let's just get rid of this and use another template so we have film credit we have individual credit as well so let's just select that and click on import drag it onto the timeline and you can just take a look at this animation looks pretty simple and elegant with that in and out animation cool so again we have same text selections you can just select it and type in anything that you want same thing goes for the name text over here and you can just type in anything that you want over there we have line color we have the background color and we have a master position control so you can just move it anywhere that you want on the screen right so we have that as well so maybe you can just you know for example let's say you want to position it right over here and you can have a clip a video clip all right so let's just drag this video in and i can just put it at the top on a new track like so and i can just adjust the scale of this video track and maybe we can just put it anywhere that we want to have a nice layout or maybe something like that you can change it the master position and put it anywhere that you want if you have a layout in mind you can just position it anywhere that you want and create a cool looking layout and in screen as well so let's take a look at it and this cool looking film credit in screen all right so let's delete this and we have another film credit individual credit click on import and just drag that in and it is pretty much similar we have the master position controller over here and the only thing is that it will be the text will be aligned everything will be aligned to the left so as you can see the line animates from left to right the text is all aligned to the left and that's pretty much it and finally we have our team list so click on import drag that in and it has the same controls as we did in the previous template we have the scroll animation you can just make it faster we have the line color the background color and all that cool stuff so let's just hide this video layer for now we don't want that to be visible so we have this entire list of names over here and with their job title so you can change every text over here like so so if you have a list of names you can simply hit ctrl v on the keyboard just copy it and ctrl v and just give hit film like few seconds and it will just replace your text in there like so and everything will be uh, properly placed so that is it that is how you can use these film credits inside of hit film i hope this will help you in your upcoming projects thank you so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one